Hey, what's going on? Nick here from Hopper Adventures, and uh, it's a super rainy day here in NorCal, which we're excited about, but I've just been organizing the shop, doing some bike maintenance, and uh, kind of geeking out over my new bike here with, uh, you know, Specialized as our title sponsor this year. So I'm gonna spend a little bit of time showing you uh, a couple bikes. One will, yeah, of course, be the Diverge STR, but the other is gonna be uh, my first adventure slash cross slash gravel bike, salsa made by sean walling in petaluma so people that know the hoppers we've been doing this this is going to be 26 years with our mixed terrain adventures and i know that there's been obviously there's no question that gravel is huge right now and some people say well it's just coming back full circle to uh the cunningham drop bar bike or the specialized uh stump jumper with drop bar but anyways i'm not going to here to debate that i'm just here to tell a story so what i'm going to take some time and go over what the, what the salsa was was doing and uh then come and take a look at the diverge so hope you find this interesting so here's my salsa original drop bar steel uh adventure bike not all the parts are on here that are originally uh, on here when i built it as you see i have changed it to bar ends and we have the rolla jig which I actually did built up with Roll and Jig, but with a different set of brakes way back when. Um, though it was set up to run cantilevers. And you can see the Roll and Jig in the back as well. So anything, a couple of things that this bike was doing. So for one, this fork here, um, different than the typical straight bladed, bladed uh, road fork that was going on here with the rake here. This is one of the things that descending made it really fun, but climbing with the geometry, it really changed it. And uh, I would often end up riding my road bike whenever possible on the dirt, just because it felt, you know, not, not so good on um, the climbing. So here's one thing that we were looking for, right, is having some bigger clearing. Unlike cross bikes, um, there was just barely enough to get through. And this was set up to get a pretty big tire, though the tire choices were pretty limited and, of course, not tubeless. The wheels, I think I had a set of, um, you know, I forget, Dury, something like that. But these I eventually upgraded to and had tubeless. Um, you'll see here, not going for super light, but you have the eyelets there. So you can run a fender as well and a place here to get the it mounted there as well so again looking for adventure we got the gusset super super bomber here so you know it's a little overbuilt but you know it certainly hasn't broken right now i've got xt xt triple on here i had an ultegra triple at the time so you know with the mullet right now and the sram gearing and with shimano that we have a big range with two by or one by um this was to ride the super steeps in narcal and then to have the gearing to do the big road spins on the way over there xtr derailleur i think i had an old tagra originally and then we have the michael Cherney chili pepper sweetness there richie dropouts we've got the eyelids right there so for the fenders and right now i'm using it for a rack on a tag along for my daughter as you can leave her posts pretty good clearance and then we've got this guy right here for bolting on the fenders this was a little clunky. I wasn't stoked about this. I'm not sure what else we could have done, but this had a bolt onto here. So then you'd have the, you know, the drop down here and then you have your cantilever um, brakes right there. So it works good for the thing right now. And then um, we'll come around to the other side of the bike and take a peek over there. Now, this is where with the seat stays and chain stays and the length and the diameter that's kind of evolved over time. But you can see there's clearance here. Right now I've got, I think some Ramblers, uh, what do we got, 40 C's on here right now, which is a pretty big tire and there's some clearance for some mud, but you couldn't go, you couldn't go Mongo on there right now. Anyways, this is what's up with the salsa and uh, one inch quilt stem. Chris King, of course, I've never replaced that. Being steel, I've never broken that. And uh, Richie Bars, Richie Seat Post. All right, now we're gonna go take a look at the Diverge. So now we're gonna take a look at the 2023 Diverge here. Super Salmon sparkly color. 
And uh, this is a pretty interesting engineering design they have. And I know there's been a lot of talk about that. I think that's part of the purpose as well as to, you know, improve your performance. The Diverge, I think their first bike was uh, 2014 launched at the King Ridge Grasshopper. And I know that the world was pretty surprised when they tried to slot a bike in between a cross bike uh, and a road bike. Um, they did a pretty good job with it. You know, they didn't, it wasn't, it, they didn't really nail it in terms of the capability of the tires, uh, but now it can pretty much do everything. And as you can tell with this and the question at hand is really, okay, so now are we getting into a rigid hardtail mountain bike? So I'm not here to debate that. There's lots of options. Um, the quiver killer idea is a great idea, but if we're, uh, um, the bike fanatics that we are the reality is is we like to have more than one bike so some similar things that they were doing right so check out we've got some uh actually i'm not going to try and compare this with the saw so let's just talk about what this does and what this has right now here right so it's got uh the uh wireless shifting which is sick and this is something back in those days it would have blown our mind with the salsa right i think i had a you know, a nine speed and maybe you get a 28 out of that or a 30. And this is, we have the, the full Eagle mullet with the horse uh, single chain ring. So compare that single to a triple, the clean, the cleanliness of it. This is one of my things being the, the super tweaker Virgo is not having cables everywhere, right? And the ferrules dealing with the housing, etc. So that's something that I just absolutely love. And the cockpit, you know, super cleaned up. I think that's one of the things that's um, you know, really added to the aesthetics of the bikes as well as the size of these, right? So we've got major clearance in here. I'll be able to experiment with some, some bike packing and touring and some fenders. Um, and then they have the, the lockout. So we never would have imagined except for maybe Otis Sky and the soft ride with the stem, right? So this has some suspension in more like the Cannondale head shock um, that happened in a while. So that gives a little buffer in there that can get locked out. This has a little bit of suspension there. Anyways, I didn't take it out and rail it in the rain, but that'll be tomorrow. So that's uh, the two bikes. And now I'm gonna put them side by side. Now, before I uh, show you some of the measurements, just to do a quick comparison of these, uh, you know, not being an engineer, but some of the things that are relative to me as a rider, uh, just two bikes side by side. And then I'll show you some photos comparing the measurements. There's another piece to the um, Diverge that I wanna highlight. I don't fully understand this work, so I won't speak to this right now, but it'll be out on my rides. Like tomorrow, I think we're gonna go do a big one. Uh, I can give you some some feedback or just what, what I see how it's performing. Uh, but this one, you know, it's always been something, especially in these big winter rides, where do you put everything between your saddlebacks and your camelback and your multiple jackets, etc. But this is just phenomenal, right? to be able to open this up and it has, uh, <laughs> has two of these. So this one, I don't even have my tools yet. This is empty right here, right? This bag here, waterproof, slides up in there. And then this one here has, um, has two tubes in it with room. So that's just phenomenal. I could have my full tool kit, my CO2s, uh, the rain cape. So the storability with inside this, that, that's super MacGyver. So. I just love that to be able to keep things off of the frame. I don't even have to have a saddlebag here that's getting super gummed up. So I know that the uh, engineers at Specialized must have had a blast coming up with this. So maybe sometime we can get them on a, a podcast or Instagram explaining and talking a little bit about the carbon fiber technology that allows um, all these things to happen, right? All right, so that's my little uh, summary and comparison of the Salsa Gravel Adventure Bike and the Diverge uh, Adventure Gravel Road.
just bike bike, all right? And then coming up next, I've still got my original road bike, which is a 1985-86 Miata um, with the, I think, first or second generation Durace parts. And then uh, we'll show you uh, the new specialized bike, which is, um, I mean, there's sometimes that your mind gets blown and this is just like kapowie with the Athos. Anyways, hope you guys get out with the break of the storm and enjoy the weather or the snow.